I'm going to take you through how I go about fishing a finesse jig. This is a Strike King uh, 3 8 ounce uh, structure jig. It's a small profile jig. Um, I like to trim my skirts and trim my trailers to match you know, a finesse style jig. And what I'll do is, is, is just take the jig straight out of the package here. And uh, this is blue crawl color, one of my favorites. And uh, I like to come down below the bend of the hook. And, and, and cut it down, say, a, probably a quarter of an inch past the bend. And um, I just cut it straight across. You can get fancy with it if you want to, cut it at an angle or whatever. Um, come down like that. And then I've got a trailer. This is a Strike King Structure Bug, one of my favorite jig trailers. But you can tell that, that jig trailer, that, that trailer is, is is big. I mean, it's, it's a lot bigger than the jig. So, I'm going to trim it down, and what I do is I take the jig and I lay it to where I want my tail to be at right there, okay? And I've got a point here where it's going to be where I want. I come down, I take my scissors, voila, I cut it. I take these legs off, and then I've got a pretty blunt end right there. And what I want to do with that is I just want... I want to trim it, trim it up a little bit. I'm cutting hair. Then I've got more of a compact trailer there. Thread it on the hook. And voila, there, there I've got a nice compact jig trailer looks real streamlined it's ready to go one of the things that i like to do a lot of guys will, will thin their their weed guards i don't typically thin my weed guards um but i do spread them and what i mean by that is just take with my hand and i want to spread it out and not only does that help when it comes to color but it helps with hook penetration as well you can tell it's real limber there spread it out nice and even there and it also acts kind of like as a rudder whenever the jigs falling down it falls straight down as opposed to maybe the one side or so so there you got it it's ready for action